Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Sabrina back with another video. If you are wondering why I look like a naked mole rat without lipstick is because I will be swatching all 20 of the Jaclyn Hill Power Nude collection. Before I go into the swatches, I will be going into detail a little bit about the actual lipsticks itself and the product um, packaging. Uh, the prices and everything like that. But before we get into that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated and I would love you guys so much. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the swatches. I do know what the actual product looks like on the lips because this is unfortunately my second time recording this video. You guys, I was so upset. I filmed this entire video and it was a first impressions video. I opened the, the entire box here on camera with you guys so that way you could see what it came in and how it looked and we could just experience um, the review together. But unfortunately it did not work out that way. I lost all my footage and I am filming this video for the second time. Let's hope that does not happen again because if it does, we, we're just not gonna do it. <laughs> I will not be filming this a third time and editing it a third time because it literally takes 70 years to do that. But anyway, um, this is what the actual lipstick looks like. It's super beautiful, it's stunning. It feels very weighted and it does not feel cheap at all. Um, and then at the bottom, it just has the actual color of the lipsticks. And as if you can tell, it's like um, whatever color this is, it is true to the color. I feel like um, this is the shade Mom. And when you look at it outside the tube and then look at the actual sticker, I feel like it is very true to its color. The single lipstick does retail for $18. The entire 20 piece collection retails for $295. And I believe she has three no, four trios, uh, Magnet Nude, Nude Mood, Nude Moment, and Nude Tea, I believe. It does come with three lipsticks and retails for $49. But I did purchase all 20 so that way I can swatch and show you guys what they look like and maybe help you find your perfect nude. All right, guys, so I do have all 20 lipsticks here in front of me. I arranged them from the lightest to the darkest and we will be going in with the lightest shades first and working our way through the darkest shades. Uh, the reason we are going to do that is because it just makes more sense to go in with a lighter shade um, because if we went in with the darker shades first, the residue from the darker shades probably isn't going to look well whenever I'm putting the lighter shades after it. So it just makes sense to go in with the lighter shades first. The first lipstick that we are going to be swatching is the shade Nude AF. That swatch is absolutely horrible, but that is the shade Nude AF. Let's, let's go ahead and apply that to the lips. This shade is super light. It is probably not a color lipstick that I will be using on its own. I believe she did say that she created it um, for the center of the lip for like that pouty effect. Um, and that's probably what I will be using this color for. Um, Cause as you can tell, it is very, very light. Next lipstick we have is As If. Let's go ahead and swatch it on the arm. I am probably the worst swatcher in the entire world. I don't know how people get them to look so perfect. Anyway, that is the shade Nude AF next to As If. Next, we're gonna be swatching the shade Isla. Next lipstick is the lipstick of Maze Balls. <laughs> I feel like my swatches are getting worse and worse. Up next is the color Obsessed. Next shade 
is the shade That Girl. That is That Girl placed on the lips. Shade is a bit pink for me. It is not something that I'm really used to. I don't really like pink nude lipsticks. This is more my mom's cup of tea, so I probably will be giving her this lipstick. Sorry if the swatches aren't coming out as pretty. I didn't wanna go in with a lip liner because I wanted you to see the true color of the lipstick. And I feel like sometimes when you put lip liner and then go over top with the lipstick, it does kind of change it just a little bit you guys know what i'm talking about but th that is why the swatches on the lips are not coming out as perfect as i would like so i apologize for that next lipstick is the shade hustle i feel like this lipstick is going to be my everyday lipstick it is definitely the one i'm gonna just Whenever I'm in a rush and just need some type of color on the lips, this will probably be the lipstick I will be picking up just to slap it on the lips and go about my day. So I see myself going through this lipstick pretty fast. Next is the shade Tipsy. shade that we are going to be swatching now is the shade perfectionist up next is the lipstick sophia i will always love this lipstick just because my best friend's daughter's name is sophia I will be swatching next the shade Cheeky. Oh, I think we got another favorite shade. Next is the lipstick Mom. Sorry guys, my stupid self forgot to swatch Mom on the arm. Oops, I kind of put it over cheeky my bad but that is mom moving on to the next shade which is gossip up next is the lipstick fussy and i am starting to run out of room so i am just gonna turn my arm this way Next is the shade Independent. Lipstick shade Hot Toddy. That is Hot Toddy on the lips. I absolutely love this shade. Definitely one of my favorites, but I do want to see what it would look like matte go ahead and show you the technique I use to turn my cream lipsticks into matte lipsticks um, before we go ahead and move on to the next color in the collection. So what I do to turn creamy lipstick that have that like that sheen and gloss to it, I just pick up a little bit of translucent powder on any brush that you own and you'll just take a little bit like this and then That is what the shade Hot Toddy looks like matte. Next shade we will be going in with is Decaf. Oh my God, bear with me. These lip swatches are getting worse and worse. I am 17 lipsticks deep. So my lips are just about ready to fall off. But this is as best as it's going to get. 
but that is decaf on the lip. So we have three lipsticks left and the last three lipsticks are the darkest shades in her nude collection. The first one we are gonna swatch is the lipstick control freak. Up next is the lipstick badass and I am gonna just show it to you like this because unfortunately it did not come with a sticker um, but it's okay it is not the end of the world all the other 19 lipsticks do have the stickers so I'm clearly gonna know that this is the lipstick badass it's not a big deal I'm not gonna cry about it or anything like that but uh, let's go ahead and swatch badass on the lips And this is badass on the lips I really like this shade um, it is definitely a bit dark probably won't be wearing this much like in the summer and spring but it is a shade that I will be picking up more often in the fall and winter it gives me that like cute vampire vibe sorry guys I suck at life I forgot to swatch badass on my hands so let's go ahead and do that All right, last but not least, we have the darkest shade in the entire collection, which is the shade Ambition. Okay, so this is as best as I'm going to get it. Um, my lips can no longer take these swatches, but that is the last shade in the collection excuse the way it looks um i think after like the 10th lipstick it just started looking like complete shit whenever i swatched it on the lips Whew. all right so we are done swatching all 20 of the lipsticks my lips are just about ready to fall off before we end this video i did want to talk about my four favorite shades in the entire collection first one is independent hot toddy hustle and the shade Cheeky, which is what I'm currently wearing on my lips right now. Uh, these are all 20 of the lipsticks side by side, just so you can kind of get a feel for every shade. All right, so we are coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this swatch slash review. And I also hope I was able to help you find your favorite shade in the collection. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. It would be greatly appreciated and I would love you guys so much. But thank you again for staying tuned and watching and I will see you guys next video. Bye.